You like Tetris? Well, if you like Tetris as well as Xenoblade, you're in luck. There is a Xenoblade Definitive Edition Tetris theme in Tetris 99. It became available on July 3rd, shortly after DE's release on May 29th, 2020. To get the theme, you originally had to participate in the 14th Maximus Cup, which is an event that usually runs for three days that will either reward players with free themes or my Nintendo Gold Coins. In order to get the rewards, players have to gain lots of points during the event period by placing highly in matches. For the Xenoblade theme, gaining 100 points was all you needed to do, which just means placing in the top 50 at least 10 times. Though, if you're a god gamer such as myself, you can get 100 points by getting first. If you missed the Maximus Cup though, don't fret. For 30 tickets, which are easily obtainable in-game currency, you can just buy the theme. The theme itself is pretty interesting. On the right, we see a completely unique Definitive Edition Shulk render. I could be entirely wrong, and this could be a specific frame from a cutscene or whatever, but I don't think so. Behind Shulk is the X from the logo, and the background of the whole theme is just a screenshot of Shulk and Ryan walking through Bionis' leg. All things considered, it feels a little lazy compared to the other Tetris 99 themes, but I don't care, I'm just glad we got one. The Tetris board itself is Monado themed, which is super cool. The center image has the Monado stuck in the ground like the title screen, and the borders are red with some blue ether lines. On the top left, where the held pieces are, you can actually see the circular bit of the Monado, which I like a lot. Hyantia feathers are inside of the next piece area, and underneath that, we see that they use Ricky as the badge icon. I honestly could not think of a better one, and I really don't care if anyone else can. Ricky looks wonderful, and he is fine where he is. When looking at defeated opponents, ones that you've beaten are represented by a red Monado Purge kanji, and opponents that other players have defeated are represented by a gray Monado Buster kanji. Sometimes the pieces themselves will be changed a little to look like something from the theme's game, but sadly that is not the case here. When starting a match, the countdown is modeled after Definitive Edition's time attack aesthetic. Many of the sound effects from rotating pieces and things like that are taken from the menus of the game as well. Multiple songs throughout the game are used throughout a match. From 99 players to 51, Time to Fight plays. From 50 to 11, Mechanical Rhythm plays. And from 10 onward, it plays You Will Know Our Names. The losing theme is Gower Playing Knight. And finally, the victory theme is what plays when you are furthest along in finishing Colony 6 Reconstruction, Colony 6 Future. If you don't have it, I would highly recommend getting it and just giving it a try. It gives your Tetris 99 gameplay a little extra oomph. Mechanical Rhythm just gets me in the mood to clear lines like a madman. If you liked the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Special thanks to my channel members, and a super special thanks to Toplay, who is a legendary Blade member. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!